Greetings everyone and welcome to the next First Taste mini-series for the channel where we're going to be covering the game Rogue Wizard, which is a roguelike with a sort of meta city building element, similar in in a way to the roguelike Sproggy Wood, which I covered on the channel a while ago now, so only, only people who've been with me for quite some time will remember that one. But this one is developed by Spellbind Studios and published by the same, and we're going to jump straight in. Now, I've had a, a chance to play the game for about an hour. It meant to be 10 minutes, but uh, I looked down and all of a sudden an hour had passed. Instead of 10 minutes, I really got sucked into this game. There are a couple of different modes that you can play the game, which uh, and I was playing on a sort of a procedural, just a dungeon crawl mode. Now, you can have a male or a female character, and you can generate a bunch of different names. But, of course, we are going to be Avak. There we are. Now, the... Types of games, now I haven't played on story, uh, but this is play through the main quest at Driven Storyline, or you can play the Gauntlet. How long can you survive uh, a pure dungeon crawl? Now, uh, we'll be playing on story, so given that there's going to be a quest line, and also probably more than anything else, this is an early access game. In fact, it hasn't been released at all yet. It will be available on the 27th of September, and thanks to the developers, I'm afforded an opportunity to play it early. But I'm always a little bit weary of playing anything with permanent death with games that have not yet been released, because that's the time when there's most likely going to be bugs that may um, just scupper a run. So we'll be playing it cautiously on the normal difficulty mode but so far I haven't seen the difficulty in the game be too hard but again I've only played it for about an hour's worth in just a pure procedural run but let's jump in and see what the story has to offer now then here we are we're a delightful looking lad with rosy cheeks and we're in some kind of tavern and I love this mechanic I love the way the the, the world is built of tiles that fall in or, or drop out as they enter or exit your field of vision. It's a very lovely way of representing what you can see. Uh, I'm so hungry. Has it been? Yes. Almost two days since I've eaten. Oh, that's not that bad, uh, realistically speaking. Uh, what do we have over here? There has to be something valuable in here. Really? What have we got here? Gold! Five gold. We can't eat... Well, you can eat gold. I was about to say you can't eat gold. You can. It's just not really going to sustain you. You're only eating gold because you can. To show off more than anything. A chest! Thank the elements! Well, I mean, no one's going to lock their bloody food in a chest. See, it's a scroll. Pick up this item. Okay. If you're reading this scroll, know it has found you for a reason. Yours is a trial by fire. I am sorry, I cannot be more gentle. This scroll has now bound you to your task. Have faith. You are capable of more than you realize. Oh dear. Ah! ah! This is what happens when you wander into just people's houses looking for food and start ransacking their chests. What? Where am I? Well, we are not anywhere with food, it doesn't look like. I picked up a sword. I have also picked up a health bottle and smashed these other things. So many smashings. Okay. Right, so, drop armor in, in the slots around your avatar and equip them to protect yourself. Combat statistics are based on which weapons and armor are equipped. The backpack is a handy place to store items you find on your adventures. Drop weapons and items on the shortcut bar so you can easily equip and use them during combat. You've also got this little bag inventory and a quest lock. Uh, that's the scroll that we've already read. And a mysterious scroll. I came upon a mysterious scroll that transported me to a strange, dark place. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, considering the hunt for food, really. But you've got two inventories, the backpack and the bag. Um, there are There is spells in this game, and the spells require reagents to cast, and I'm always fond of those kinds of systems. Um, rather than just like a mana bar, you, you know, a pinch of, of stardust and, and lizard's tongue or whatever you want. This game doesn't have things like that, but uh, it, it's it's esoteric kind of ingredients. Uh, but I like to put them in the bag just to keep them out of my main inventory, which was for gear, I found. Um, got 20 damage, no defense, which is bad, and only 31 health. These are our attributes, and rather than having like strength to uh, affect your melee attacks and dexterity to affect your range attacks, you just got power. And provides damage from items and magic across all damage types. Uh, finesse increases the chance of blocking critical hits, disarming traps, and detecting secrets. 
and stamina increases health and ability to absorb damage. Oh, that's very nice indeed. The spell book, here we are. I have no spells as yet. I have some potions, and I would like my potions on the far side there. Okay, all right, it is time to move on. All right, let's go through the door. And we have found a skeleton. These swords indicate combat mode. During combat mode, actions are one at a time. You can skip your turn by pressing the pass turn button and switch active weapons on the hotbar. Now, be aware that for all intents and purposes, the game is always turn-based. It's just that when there's no one to take a turn against you, the, the, that is, there's no enemies around, then you can just do everything. You can move from here to over there and your character will plot the path. But the moment it's here, then... I have to take one step at a time, the, the enemy will do the same. Uh, I can't kill you on one hit. Dretch! I have to take some damage then. Okay, pick up some gold, and another barrel. Now, as far as I'm aware, certainly in the, the main, uh, sorry, in the like dungeon crawl mode, it's all, oh wow, nice, critical. It's all procedural, but I'm not sure if it's always procedural here, or whether the, the quests have um, dungeons that are um, either partially procedural or they they are very specifically built by a level designer cloth boots I am always in the market for a little bit of extra health and not so happy about all of you I'm gonna move back one and again uh, no only one then I just want to try and force it so that I'm only dealing with one at a time I probably don't need to be this ca quite this cautious at the moment but uh, well I don't like dying, as it happens. Ow. Right, now it's just you and me. I'm going to let you walk up to me so you use your turn and I get the first attack. There we go, rather than letting you get to. Now, the keys allow me to unlock chests, and it is important to unlock chests, not just for the loot. One thing I learned from the uh, pure dungeon crawl is on every level, if you kill all of the enemies, you get a bonus uh, to your EXP, and if you open all of the chests, similarly, you get a bonus to your EXP. And we've got a cap now that offers us for defense, and we've still got a key that we can use on this chest over here. There we are. All treasure opened, plus 280 EXP. That's very nice. This is uh, quite a simple dungeon so far, if that's all of the treasure. Hello. Hello, who are you? I'm Palum, and I've been waiting for you. Took you long enough to get here. What, you know who I am? Not specifically, but I know a magical scroll brought you here because we need you. Who's we? No time for questions. We need to fight our way back to the portal. You'll learn more when we're safe. I can have followers? Oh, that's something I didn't see in the uh, procedural dungeon. That's amazing. Now, I am actually going to explore the rest of this place because we haven't killed all the enemies. I know that because we didn't get the... What on earth is that? We didn't get the bonus for it. My lord, that was amazing. I approve. Oh, I don't approve of you just getting beat up. I was hoping that they would split up a little bit. Now, it takes a turn to swap weapons and the likes, and that's what he just did. Well done there. Let them approach. And there we go. All enemies killed. Hooray! I will take that tunic. Hunter's tunic. Okay, we're getting a little bit of defense now. I'm not sure how the defense stat affects incoming damage. But obviously, the higher the stat, the better, I would imagine, anyway. Let's descend. Okay, switching weapons or drinking potions uses up a turn in combat. Yes. What the dickens? Uh. Oh, sweet! I love crab! No eat! No eat! Don't worry, little fella. I'm not here to eat you. Come with me. This place is dangerous. We found talking ice crab. Okay. How how bizarre. I'm, I'm surprised I'm not trying to eat him, though. I'll, I'll be honest, because I haven't eaten in two days. What's this? Spell acquired fireball. Your spellbook holds all the spells you've learned. Drag and drop the spells onto your shortcut bar so you can quickly equip them and cast them during combat. Oh, okay, I quite like that. Uh, though, actually, I would prefer it elsewhere on my... Uh, uh, I'd like a melee, my primary melee, my primary range, then my spells, and then any other weapons or items that I might use. Okay, it's rank 1 currently. It does 35 fire damage, which is more than my uh, sword does, which I believe only does 20 damage. Yes. Now, ooh. Hello there. You're a weak skeleton lord. Why do I not feel comforted with the fact that you're a weak one? 
Only defense one. Uh, well, I guess that's still better than nothing. Uh, sure, I'll use my magic spell. Kapow! Did you see that? I just used magic. Yes. But I thought only Ilum could use magic. I'm Banlit. I guess these are uh, races? If you didn't have powerful abilities, that scroll wouldn't have bound you. Bound? I, I don't like the sound of that. No, I don't either, actually. Now, I am using reagents for that. It seems this requires two crimson ash. I'm going to pop my reagents in this bag just to keep them uh, separate, but it lets me know how many I can cast. But that will uh, get better as I collect more. Little scurrying, skittering sound of my crab companion there. Ooh. Thank you. Now, you do have like a, a fairly generous range for picking items up from. Ah, oh, nice work, little crab. I will also take this hat, and now I will compare this hat to my hat. They are equivalent. That is boring. Hello? No, my crap! How dare you? That chakram is amazing. Please stop hitting my crab. I dislike it. It's a snow crab. I wonder what I'll call you. I wonder if I can name you. I hope I can. I would like to name you Aira. Thank you. There we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't like being in the lead right now. Right, you need to be dead straight away. Can I shoot through other people? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Okay, I don't like being in the lead again. Okay, level 2 achieved. Let's find out what we can do. Increase your activities when you gain a level. Alright. Uh, I would like two in stamina and two in finesse, please. I like to be able to see secrets. Right, I'm going to swap to my sword at this point. And chop. What? My snow crab can freeze things. That is amazing. I also now have a shield. I also now have boots. I also now have a bow. Uh, these boots. These are better boots. Seven, but they require more stamina to wear. Now, blazing hunter's bow. Ignite on on hit chance is five. Damage is twenty-two. Requires for finesse. Okay, that's cool. The class is bows. Now, one thing to note. You'll notice the rank, 1 of 4, and use mastery 11% to the next rank. You can just pick up caps of different ranks. So, for example, I've got two common caps of rank 1. They're equivalent. I could have picked up a, a common cap of rank 3 if I was particularly lucky, and that would have been better in some way. Um, but just having the equipment slowly levels the equipment up in some way, and eventually... It just goes to the next rank. I'm assuming. I've not seen that happen yet. Um, but we'll have to learn this together. Equipped. Donk. Ouch. There we go. Uh, for this one, I'm going to swap to my boat. There we are. And again, I can shoot in close combat. Uh, of course, it's good. Now, an axe. A socketed axe, no less. 33 damage, of which... 33 is physical. It has one socket. It requires extra power, but unlike the sword, which has no particular class benefit, the axe damages across tiles in an arc, so you actually swing an axe and can hit multiple targets. So that is a better primary melee weapon, I think. Um, there may come a time when I've got, like, multiple melee weapons and there's just some which are much better in certain circumstances than others. I hope that doesn't happen too soon, because that always makes inventory management really annoying. Right, let's see what's all the way up here. Anything interesting? A door. Doors are interesting. They lead to potentially interesting situations. Do I have a key? I do. Uh, okay, we've got portals. And a scroll. Another scroll. Maybe this will lead to even better treasure. You've survived your first test. This means you're ready for training. I've created a magical rift, a place hidden from our enemies. Go there. You'll find some help to improve your skills. I will teach you myself, but I must stay hidden. The council is watching me. Oh, okay. How curious. Antrate is a secret town hidden from Hosperak. Who's Hosperak? Why is his name Hosperak? It's very hard to say. Our greatest enemy. The reason why we're fighting these creatures here. So how does this orb fit in? It opens this portal. That's how we keep our enemies out. Come on. 
if you just leave the orb lying on the oh well actually it was in the scroll maybe the scroll is magical and only allows people that it wants to get the I have no idea magic uh, makes up its own rules hello I wish you to be dead Pow! I will take these boots nice shot you got a hell of a range with that thing there we go more keys new tunic let's have a look if any of these are better that is better it's actually twice as good yes please and this is only better in that it's got a socket but a socket is a socket let's move on nice shot oh dear that's not what i meant to do oh scallywags thank you very much for freezing him there we are and we'll finish you off this little crab is amazing also that's got a blue outline is it a, is it magical oh wow hunter's tunic of life Extra health, 25. I'm already at 62. Plus two sockets. And it's better defense. Yes. Yes. Oh. It's rare. It's, it's only rare. I thought when it flashed purple that it was some sort of super artifact item or something. Did you just level up? I think my companion just leveled up. Am I able to see your info at all? No, I can't. I can, however, accidentally walk and then get my crab stabbed. I'm so sorry. There we are. Another magical tunic. Ah! Why? New chakram. Let's have a look at these. All right, so new magical tunic. Plus five to finesse. That's actually pretty nice. But I'm not immediately in any kind of crazy rush to look at Critical hit damage, 217%. Wow, what's a normal critical hit? Uh, what's normal? damage and also a chakram hits multiple targets so that yeah i'm gonna keep that i think this shield is not as good as the one that we currently got right, let's uh head up here we'll go back to the little door area over there see what we have see if we can't get an exp bonus for killing everything let's destroy that Ow! okay we know there's a skeleton up there you know what I'm gonna equip this chakram. Hello! Chow! Chow! That is a remarkably satisfying weapon. This is a very long corridor with a door. Hello! I'm the only one who can see you, aren't I? That's fantastic! Crab is so OP! Also, being able to open all the doors with this chakram is remarkably fun. And more enemies to get more keys off. Now, from what I saw in the dungeon crawl that I was... Uh, the dungeon crawl mode. You, there's always going to be enough keys for the chests on the level. So if you haven't picked them all up, by the time you've cleared out most things, then everything is going to start dropping keys. It'll ensure that you have enough. From what I've seen. No, don't hit my... Oh, no. What are you? We're gonna smack my crap. There we are. More. Thank you. And there we go. All treasure. 416 EXP. Ooh, a socketed buckler. Buckler of stamina. Plus 10 stamina. That'll give me a lot of health. Uh, actually, less than I was expecting, but still, good. And it's got a socket as well. Lower block chance, but nah, that's, that's really good as far as I'm concerned. Right, now, we can expediate our exit from here. We can zoom around, teleport to known waypoints and exits at any time, as long as no enemies are nearby. So, let's head over here. Now, that's something that I should keep in mind, that no enemies can be nearby. Enter the portal. There are six schools of magic. Fire, earth, sky, nature, ice, and cosmic. <gasps> this is wonderful! And doesn't at all speak of heresy! We're absolutely floating in a void that isn't heretical in any way. I like this place. It actually has nice music as well. And, you know, you know you're in a good place when it has waterfalls that just kind of drain off to nothingness, but the water never runs out. Ah, so beautiful. I'm, I'm <laughs> guessing I need to go to the place. My quests! Ah, this is fantastic. Meryl. Now where am I? Where's Palum? Who are you? 
You're at the Antreat Inn. I'm Meryl, the owner. Great. Please tell me you have some food here. You battle your way through a dungeon, end up in a strange town, and all you can think about is your stomach? I haven't eaten in two days. Oh, wow. Why are you so... Two days is not that long to go without food. I mean, without any food at all. Okay, yeah, you're going to be pretty hungry. Your stomach's going to really be letting you know that it hasn't had any food yet, but... You, know, you can go for a while. You look well fed. What? I did not say that. I pro... I... You naughty boy. <laughs> That's not dapper at all. You look well fed. Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll just say, you look fat. Give me your food. My goodness. How about your share? There's a bowl of stew and some bread. We just See, that's Dapper. You just insulted her, and she just gave you food anyway. My lord. You deserve a slap across the chops is what you deserve. Ah, that's better. Thanks. So what is this place? I can't believe my character just said that. This is Antrite. Oh, Antarit. Antarit? Antarit. We'll settle on Antarit. A secret area in the Rilfenor hidden... Uh, sorry, a secret area in Rilfenor, hidden from the Wizard's Guild by magic. A wizard named Hosperak has taken over the Guild of Council. Oh, sorry, the Guild Council. I'm tripping over my words. I'm still sh shocked and stunned that I basically met this, this owner of an inn and just immediately called her fan and asked for her food. That's a, uh, I'm gobsmacked. He's breaking the laws of Rilfenor, stealing power from the six elemental realms, but he doesn't go around calling people fat, so, you know, he's got that going for him. Hosprak is violating the balance of the elemental magic. The boundaries between the realms have weakened, and rifts are opening all over Rilfenor. But again, he doesn't call people fat, so, you know... Dangerous creatures are invading through the rifts in the world fabric. None of them call me fat either. I mean, call other people fat. But Hosprak cares more for power than the lives of bandits. But he is at least polite enough not to call me people fat. I am flabbergasted. My goal is to gather an army in Antrit to stop Hosperak. We must close the dangerous rifts that he has opened and make peace with the elemental realms. I'll raise a wizard tower where you can learn more about magic and manners. We'll talk again after you've visited it and learned some manners. You annoying little kid. To be fair, that's a pretty amazing ability. He's like, oh, yeah, you're, you're a wizard. I, I'll just make a wizard's tower. Right. Click on runes to spend spell points and acquire new spells or upgrade existing spells. Click to upgrade your new spell. Can I get a new type of spell? Okay, I need, like, fireball at rank 10. Okay. What about you? Um, I'd like to learn you. Allow me to learn you, please. Requires level 3. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. What about you? You require level 3 as well. Ah. Fireball. All right. Well, we'll level this up. Requires a level... Uh, sorry. Uh, next rank. Gives us quite a lot more damage, actually. A lot more damage. And only 1% better chance of setting things on fire. And it still burns for the same amount of time. But still, that damage upgrade is amazing. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back. We need your help. Grandfather's scroll found you, and that means you have great power. You don't know how to use it fully, but you'll learn. So what do I do next? Visit the supply shop and prepare your bag. When you're ready, come and talk to me. All right. Click the supply depot to open up the shop and sell unwanted gear. Hooray! This is vendor. These are the items they have for sale. Buy and sell items using drag and drop or right click. Uh, farewell. Let's... Have we got any good boots? No. Uh, actually, all of these are the boots that I don't want. And none of these bucklers are better than the one I'm currently using. This is not, this is not. What about you? Hunter's Tunic of Dexterity. Yeah, I kind of really like the extra health. I'll be honest. And I don't really need that sword. Alright. Um, I, can, I can just buy keys. That's kind of useful. I'm not sure I want to, but yeah, it's useful. Okay. Is that it? Yes, it is. Okay, very well. Toink. Oh, apparently I can talk to someone here. Greetings, I'm Alnar, trader in general supplies. Are you bandlit like me? No, I'm Elam, a friend of Meryl and her grandfather. 
The danger of Hosperak will affect us all, and my fellow Alum are fooling themselves if they don't see it. I'm interested in knowing what the what's this deal with the Alum and Bandlet. Hello, we've got something over there. Hello again! Palum, what are you doing here? This is what I do in Antarit. Antarit, rather. You don't have to carry everything with you anymore. I'll keep it safe. Oh, it's a vault. That's actually quite useful. So if I find a really, really cool item that I desperately want to keep but I don't really have room for right now, perhaps I intend to raid it or do something with it. Um, that's actually pretty funky. Meryl, okay, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Remember, you're more powerful than you realize. So I can really do magic? Yes, the Elam aren't the only ones with magical power anymore. My life is about to get a lot more complicated, isn't it? Saving the world is never easy. I'm an Elam. I could have stayed at my manor, full of servants, and lived in comfort. Instead, I'm here, building this town, getting insulted by little scallywags like you. I guess this is better than being a half-starred thief. I was a thief? Ah, that doesn't surprise me, actually. If we defeat Hosperak, you're going to have a very good life. What do you say? Well, I would have said yes, without the promise of a very good life. But yeah, I suspect this little scamp needs that kind of motivation. I'm in! Where do I go? We found another rift in the fabric of the world. I'm hoping you'll find a scroll-bound friend of mine there. Destroy the rift and bring back my friend. Lastly, if you find any more of those cute pets like the one you arrived with, I'll keep them safe here at the inn with, uh, with me until they're fully rested and can join you. How wonderful! So I can have like a menagerie of pets? This is fantastic. Though. Can I not bring you with me? No. 52 minutes until I can have you accompany me? Oh, that's terrible. But okay, well, on that note, I think we're going to uh, be wrapping up this episode there. I hope you've all enjoyed this uh, first episode of Rogue Wizards, and will be joining me for the next. As ever, any feedback warmly welcomed in the comments section. A like on the video lets me know you are indeed interested in seeing more. But until next time, do take care, everyone.